Keeping workers on the job isn't always easy. 75 million Americans have back problems, and that costs employers millions of dollars because of absenteeism. Now, as Michael Brown reports tonight, companies are beginning to fight back. Stretching, going up and down all day long, lifting heavy weights. The stress of bouncing up and down while pedaling all day long. All of this is tough on the back, making back problems the third leading cause of work-related absenteeism behind headaches and colds. Even sitting at a computer terminal is tough on the back, as many people are finding out. One company's making a mint on chairs specially designed for computer workers. It pushes you to sit back up straight with your shoulders squared so that you're getting a much more um, accurate back um, posture. Nearly one out of every four of us has some sort of a back problem, and for companies that translates to millions of dollars a year in insurance and medical costs. Some have gone so far as to start schools on site to teach their employees how to take care of their backs. In the San Francisco area, many have sent their employees to the spine center here at St. Mary's Hospital. These women all have back problems that have affected their work, and each knows that nagging pain that sometimes seems like it'll never end. It's aggravating. It's something you learn to live with. It's like living with pain, like a headache every day. You know you're going to have it, so you just accept it and deal with it. While undergoing treatment, they're also learning how to sit and lift properly to take stress off their backs. Dr. Arthur White founded this center 10 years ago, starting a nationwide movement. We have other options. We can use our hips, we can use our knees, and you have the muscles of your trunk that can line up your spine and keep it in a balanced, neutral, comfortable position. White says self-responsibility is the key. He loads his patients up with knowledge and exercises, and off they go. And he says his success rate is high because they come here with a great incentive. Pain. That's it. In San Francisco, Michael Brown, Channel 5, Eyewitness News. Three companies here already have back schools of their own. Other companies in the Bay Area say they have schools on the drive.